continue to exist, it has to have an image. You have to have an image. You have to have pride. You have to do all those things to protect the image, to maintain the image. And the last thing it wants is for you to be humble, for you to be equal, for you to be the same as everyone else, for you to be one. Ooh. You, <laughs> people hate that word. Ooh, one. Because that is all about separation. It's all about being unique. Even these, these metaphysics that try to mix abstract oneness with the world. You are a unique, irreplaceable expression of God. You see how it takes those two things and puts them together in the same sentence. It tries to get you to buy it. That will never be a unique, individual expression of, of God because God is pure abstraction of oneness. There's nothing unique about oneness. How can you have unique oneness, you know? It just doesn't happen. So that's what we're talking about. We're really talking about surrendering into that, that humbleness. And it's also being humble in the sense of being in the, you know how in Zen they call it beginner's mind? The I don't know. Isn't it great to wake up and feel like you don't know anything? It's, a, it's such a beautiful feeling to not have an opinion, to not have any opinions. People ask me about, what do you think about global warming? Or what do you think about this politician? I don't know. I mean, it's not like you're gullible. It's not like you're dumb. It's a highly trained state of mind. <laughs> it's a natural state of mind to not have any opinions about anything. And so, you know, one time I was in Australia. I was, I was traveling with my friend Raj, and we were going all along the coast of Australia, and we stopped at one group, and he finally just kind of said to the group, he said, do you know what it's like to travel with this guy? It's like, you can't get an opinion out of him. I mean, we were having pizza the other day, and I said, good pizza, don't you think? And I just, he just smiled at me. He wouldn't even acknowledge that the pizza was good. It was like, it was pathetic, you know? It's not human, I tell you. It's just not right, not human. And the thing about it is, you actually start to like that experience of not having opinions. Because it's so peaceful. It's so peaceful. You can actually say authentically when somebody asks you a real complicated question, I don't know. And you don't feel dumb. You feel good. <laughs> I don't know and I'm glad I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. Everything that you need is given from the Holy Spirit. If you need a word, you know, I haven't had situations where, where people, have, when they say, pay the tax, and I have to go and pull a coin out of a fish or something like that. But the, whatever seems to be needed, whatever props are needed for the skit, for the script, they're given in very easy, effortless ways. So there's nothing special.